Welcome to Mikun's Hardware. In this video I'm going to tell you about this little mini ATF computer, which is assembled based on Juan Andrew X998M and Xeon E52650 V3. Originally I planned to pair this motherboard with the Xeon E5-1650 V3 or Core i7-5820K, because I have two of the CPUs and they are basically identical. But as you know, these CPUs have unlocked multiplier and 100x998M does not support CPU overclocking. That's why I have tried to flash BIOS from 100x99F8 onto 100x998M and check if overclocking would work. And yes, overclocking is actually working, I was able to successfully overclock my Xeon E5-1650 V3 to 4.1-4.2 GHz. Unfortunately, my cooler Noctua and HL12 is not good enough to cool the CPU and CPU is overheating and throttling. Not to mention about the problem with this case. Noctua and HL12 has two fans, one on the bottom and one at the top. But in this case, power supply is blocking the second CPU fan and I can only install a low profile fan and I don't have any low profile fan, so that's why I had to remove it. That is why I was waiting for assembling this build and was not sure what CPU to use. I was thinking to sacrifice my Xeon E5 2640V3, which is a very cool CPU, and with the no unlocked Turbo Boost, it's gonna be no problem in this tiny case. But then I have received a very nice offer from one of my subscribers to buy a few Xeon E5 2650V3s from him. After a short email conversation, I have agreed to buy three of the CPUs because the price was nice and I thought that I could assemble three computers using the CPUs and then sell them. But when I have received the package, I was very pleasantly surprised to see that there are four CPUs, not three. So basically, he has donated one extra Xeon E5 2650v3 to my channel and I'm very thankful for that. If you're currently watching this video, then I tell you that I'm not going to make any profit on the CPUs. I'm going to assemble the PCs and sell the CPUs for the price that I have got from you. And there might be some lucky happy gamers. Xeon E5 2650V3 is a very good CPU for this tiny build. It does not produce too much heat, but still giving very good performance with its 10 cores and 20 threads. And since now I have 4 of them, I can happily sell one of them in this build. Let's take a look what's inside the computer. So on this side you can see PNY GTX 1050 Ti, the hard drive, USB 3, USB 2, power, connectors and all the other stuff. On this side you can see two sticks of 8GB each DDR4-2133 RAM, Noctua NHL12 CPU cooler, as well as the hard drive. Originally I was planning to use Kingston SSD for 256GB with this one. Review for this drive you can find on my channel, but my customer decided to upgrade to NVMe drive Samsung, which you can see installed over there. To avoid CPU overheating, I had to mount this fan on top over here. Originally the fan was mounted here to cool down hard drives and SSDs, but this hard drive does not require extra cooling and SSD is installed on the motherboard. Unfortunately, this is an old fan with a 3-pin connector and if I connect it straight to the motherboard, it's working full speed, which is very noisy. That's why I had to add this extra fan speed controller, which you can see over here. This little thing can uh, regulate the speed of the fan. That's why it's way better this way.
All benchmarks of the PC have been performed without unlocking Turbo Boost. As you know, to unlock Turbo Boost you have to manually install a driver and Windows has a very bad habit to remove this driver. For example, if your PC crashes or Windows install updates or you have restored your BIOS default settings or something like that and Windows may decide to remove this driver and your system is not going to work stable. That is why I have decided not to unlock Turbo Boost for my client because regular users are not happy to install drivers when Windows decide to remove them in order to have stable system. GTX 1050 Ti is kind of a low tier graphics card, but it's okay for this very cheap build. If it would be my will, I would install here 1650 Super or RX 570 or even GTX 1070 or RTX 2060. That would be a better pair for the Xeon E5 2650 V3. But my client wants to get it as cheap as possible and GTX 1050 Ti is a good match. In most of the games, the limiting factor is the graphics card, especially in the modern games such as Battlefield 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Red Dead Redemption, Xeon E5 2650v3 with its 10 cores and 20 thread is performing exceptionally well, even without unlocking Turbo Boost. The performance is bottlenecked by the GPU. But in some old and not optimized games which are really dependent on the CPU frequency such as COSX3 and CD Skylines, you can get some bottleneck in the CPU. Nevertheless, I still think that GTX 1650 Super or even GTX 1070 or RTX 2060 is a better pair for this computer. Maybe the new owner will do GPU upgrade in the future and I hope it's gonna happen. Corsair CX600 is not the best power supply on the market, but this build consumes very little power and it shall do just fine. To save money for your graphics card, SSD and all the stuff in the computer, having CX600 is an okay deal. Unfortunately, this case is too small to perform any kind of cable management, thus I had to accept this cable mess and try to tighten them uh, where it's possible so they don't go into the CPU fan, into the case fan and the graphics card fan. It looks ugly, but it serves the purpose and it works well. That's it I guess. It's time for me to say goodbye to Juan Andre X998M motherboard and I hope it's going to serve the new owner very well. I have enjoyed playing with this motherboard, testing it, it's very nice and small. It fits into this tiny case, it's working properly with the Xeons which have unlocked and locked multiplier. Unfortunately overclocking Core i7-6800K is also not an option. 3 pin fans are not working with the speed adjustments and temperature sensors on the motherboard are not functioning correctly. But these are all minor issues. Overall I'm very happy with the motherboard and I'm almost feeling sorry to say goodbye. Anyway, I hope that this computer is going to serve well the new owner. That's all I have for you for today. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you have enjoyed it, goodbye.